Tuesday, Tuesday. Welcome back to Winging It Buffalo Style. We've been talking all about Kiss the Summer Hello for a few weeks now, and the big party is finally just days away. Right now, we are getting one last look at what concert goers can expect as they head out to Canal Side this Friday night. That's right, Lauren. From pop to hip hop and even a little rap, some of the summer's biggest hits will be on stage right here in Western New York. And to talk about it, we have Judd from Kiss 98.5. Now, Judd, let's start off with a little refresher course mm -hmm. on everyone that will be attending Kiss the Summer Hello. Finally, here, three days away, eight awesome acts coming to Buffalo. Buffalo, uh, down at Canal Side, and the weather forecast, thank you, Todd Santos, <laughs> looks amazing. Finally, we were a little worried there where they were predicting rain. But uh, Somo, Jason Derulo, Austin Mahone, uh, Kaylin and Miles, AJR, DJ Cassidy, MKTO, uh, all coming to Kiss the Summer Hello. It's going to be a really fun night. It's a Friday night down on the waterfront, which I think even without a concert, a Friday night down at Canal Side is awesome. Uh, so a Friday night with a concert at Canal Side with great food and great music, can't beat it. Who is the most anticipated act in this lineup? I think it's probably between uh, Austin Mahone and Jason Derulo. Both of them have huge breakout uh, new kind of songs and albums. Austin just dropped The Secret this past week. Uh, Jason Drillo dropped Top 30 about two weeks ago. Um, I think they're the two really big draw names, but there's a lot of other people that are excited about some of the smaller bands that are up and coming, like AJR, um, who were unsigned when we first had them on the show and have since been signed to a record deal. Kaylin and Miles, who have this huge cult following. They're from San Francisco um, and have really kind of spread across the country uh, in that twerk-tastic song, Go to Work. Um, and you have you know Somo and MKTO, who's been here a couple of times. MKTO did uh, Kiss last year and uh, classics gone top 10 as of today uh, in the country so just in time for them to take the stage on Friday and I have to give props to kiss 98.5 because you always find some artists that eventually make it really big and you get them before they're huge stars I mean you had Justin Bieber Megan and Liz even emblem 3 last year mm -hmm. so are some of those artists do they fall in that category too yeah I think <laughs> a lot of the smaller acts definitely fall in this category and that's the beauty of shows like kiss summer low and even kiss was bash in the winter is we have the opportunity to bring in up and coming acts that do hit it big we've had at Kiss Summer Low, Rihanna, Kanye West, some of the you know, really huge acts. So it's a kind of a cool way that you get to see these as they're starting off their career brand new in the industry uh, and to see them before they blow up and everybody is obsessed with them in the world, you get to see them first. And as the music director at Kiss, not only are you the drive home radio host, you're also the music director. This week has got to be pretty hectic for you. How yeah, do you handle <laughs> all of the artists and all of their entourages? This is a busy week. Um, at the first artist starts arriving tonight. So uh, it's going to be showtime as of tonight with everybody coming in and coordinating everything and hotels and getting them to the venue and getting them to all their interviews and of course their stage time and having them ready uh, but it's going to be a whole lot of fun uh, and I'm really excited for Friday. And so for people that want to prep for the concert maybe to get in that mindset what mm -hmm. should they be listening to on their playlist? Listen to Kiss 98.5 we're playing all the songs um, and you can check out our website uh, kiss95.com we have a link to all of the songs of the artists that you can check out too and uh, to prep get ready make your own t-shirts I've been seeing a lot of things on Twitter people making their own concert t-shirts which I think is always fun and and uh, get ready and uh, make sure you have suntan lotion for Friday. I think it's going to be pretty sunny out there. And you mentioned Twitter. I have to say we posted a picture of us at Buffalo Fest mm -hmm. at the zoo. And I think I got like 50 new followers. So and they I. were all <laughs> like, kiss the summer low. Can't wait. <laughs> like a lot of, uh, I have a lot of new uh, under 17 year old followers. Yeah. We should say that you bring that up, that the kiss summer low is a great first concert it's to go to. It's a great first concert. And so many people, when we talk about what was your first concert, kiss summer low and kiss the Bash are always on there. Degrees when it's they a, were the yeah, it's a great field. family friendly concert. Concert, especially at Canal Side, it's going to be really nice how it's set up. Of course, we're going to have the concert set up, but we're going to have all of those great, crazy, colorful Adirondack chairs spread all throughout so the parents have a place to go eat, mm -hmm. go sit in the chair, enjoy the nice sunset on a Friday night. Um, it's definitely a big show for other 10,000 people going to be there. There's like less than 300 tickets left and you uh, if you want. And promised that you would bring us one of the acts on Friday morning. Yes. Are we allowed to say who? Or are we going to keep it a secret? I think we should keep it a secret. Should we keep it a secret? It's, it's going to be pretty big and we're It'll really excited about Just it. Just get ready for Friday. <laughs> okay. And but you, you promised that there will be one here. Promise there will be someone here okay. performing live promise. on Friday. Okay. So, you know, there's so many different bands that are coming and I know it would be hard to pick your favorite, but which one do you think you're most excited? And maybe which one do you think Buffalo is most excited for? Uh, I think Buffalo is most excited for Austin Mahone. I have a toss up between MKTO because they've been here a couple of times over the past year and I've kind of become friends with the guys, so I'm excited to see them again. Um, and I'm actually really excited to see what Time Flies brings to the stage. Um, they're huge right now. They uh, do a thing called Time Flies Tuesday, which they cover a new song every Tuesday. They just covered Best Deals Pompeii last week. It's one of my favorite covers I've ever heard. I have to brag a little bit because my college roommate, one of my best friends, is in the MT. M 
M2K. What is it again? Sorry. MKTO. MKTO. <laughs> music, really good friend. <laughs> music video for classic. Yeah, she's like one of the the leading ladies in it. Nice. So it's pretty cool. Whenever you apply for that job, I don't leading know. lady in music video. <laughs> all right, Judd from Kiss. He's got his hands full this week, but you can hang out with him Friday night and all the artists at Kissmas Bash. And you can he's keeping you company two to six on Kiss ninety eight. And tune in Friday because we're gonna have a sneak preview of what's on stage at Kissmas Bash as we turn the studio into our own mini concert. Can't be awesome. Wait for that. We're